With web views, you can display web pages inside your Flutter app. We want to control this embedded website by refreshing the web page, by using the back button to navigate back in our web view, and also to clear the cache and cookies. Therefore, we will use the official web view Flutter package. Within our build method, we create first of all a web view widget, which comes from this package. And here inside, you can then specify the URL that should be displayed here in our Flutter app. And secondly, we also want to enable here JavaScript. And with this, we have here the web page displayed that we have defined here on the left side. And to make here this work, you also need to go to your pubspec JAML file and under your dependencies, you need to include here this package. And secondly, you need to go inside of your Android app folder inside the build gradle file. And here you need to make sure that this min SDK version is at least 20. Now we want to create here at the top a back button so that we can always navigate back in our web view and also a refresh button to refresh our page. Therefore, we go to our web view widget and here we create this on web view created. And with this, we get a controller. And with this controller, we can then control here this web view on the right side. And therefore, we simply want to pass this controller inside of our state so that we can later make use of it. Next, we go inside of our app bar and here we want to create then at the right side some icon button. So we want to create this arrow back button. And basically, if we click on it, then we can make use of our controller. And therefore, I simply call here the go back method. And this will then go back to the previous web page. And we also need to make sure that we can go back. And therefore, you check here that you can also go back. Let's also try it out. So here within your web view, you can go to different pages. So now I'm going here to some pages and then I can click here on the back button and he will then always navigate us back to the previous page. Let's also integrate here a second button and this is the refresh button. And we also can then call on our controller the reload method to refresh here our website. Let's also try it out. If I click on the refresh button, he is refreshing here our website. Next, we also want to use here then this back button on our Android system to navigate here back in our web view. And if you do it right now, then he will simply leave our application. To handle here this back button at the bottom, you simply go to your scaffold and around your scaffold, you want to wrap then this will pop scope widget. And now every time if we click on the back button, we are going inside of this function. And if you return here false, then it says that we want to stay inside of our app. So let's try it out. I click here on the back button and you see nothing is happening because we return here false and therefore we stay inside the app. And now we can basically go here to another page. And this time, if we then click here on this back button, then we simply want to navigate back in our web view. And therefore we basically take here the same functionality that we have also used before when we have clicked on this back button. So let's go here up and also let's create here this functionality. So we check if we can go back and if we can go back, then we simply go back in our web view. On the other hand, if we cannot go back in our web view, then we simply want to exit our application. And therefore I return here in this case true. Let's also try it out. So I click here on the back button and you see we are going then back to the previous page. And if I click now again on the back button, then we are leaving the application because this condition was false and therefore he went here inside and returned true to leave our application. On the other hand, if you never want to leave your application, then you can also return here false. And with this, you will always stay inside of your application. Next, we want to clear also the cache of the website. So sometimes you log in maybe to your website, for example, here on Facebook, you log into this website. And now you want to clear here the cache again so that you are locked out of your web view. And to do this, you can simply go, for example, to your app bar. And here within the leading property, we create then this clear button, which is here then displayed on the left side. And every time if we press on this button, then we want to call here on our controller the clear cache method. And secondly, we also want to call here on our cookie manager the clear cookies method to clear also all the cookies of this web view. Let's also try it out. So here, if I click on this button, then he will simply clear here all the cookies and the cache. 
And finally, we also want to give the user some feedback if our website is currently loading and therefore we want to include here this progress indicator at the top, which is then always changing depending on the progress of our website. To integrate this loading progress, you simply go to your web view and here you have the property on progress where you get then every time the progress as the value between zero and 100. And we simply want to save then this progress value inside of our state. And we also want to divide it then by 100. Let's also put here then in our state, this progress at the top inside. And now we can make use of this progress to display it here in our UI. And to display the progress, I simply go inside of my web view widget and I wrap it here around with the column. And on top of our web view, we want to display then a linear progress indicator. And inside of it, we put then the value. And since we have divided this value by 100, this value is now a value between 0 and 1, which is needed for this linear progress indicator. Let's also try it out. So here, if I click on the refresh button, you see that our linear progress indicator is changing because he is loading here this website. And by the way, if you liked this video, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.